Good Tuesday morning, boys and girls. I hope you're doing a very, very good job so far with doing your work in math. Now we're going to go on ahead and uh, let's learn some science. Now today we're going to be covering the structure and functions of organisms. Now, you may ask, Mr. Champ, what is a structure? What is a function? I'll let you know. A structure is considered part of an animal. Now, parts of an animal could be many things. I have three things listed right here on this anchor chart. Now, the first one is a claw. You can use your claw for digging in the ground, searching for food in the ground, or you can use your claw for hunting. There are so many different things you can use a claw for. The second one, teeth, okay? Teeth is also part of an animal. An animal can use its teeth for eating chewing on something, okay? We all need to eat, animals need to eat as well. Now the third one, wings. Wings is also part of an animal. Now, to connect structure and function, we need to know what is function? What is the definition of function? What does a function do? <laughs> you see what I just did right there? I had an aha moment, because I just asked myself, what does a function do? Look at the definition. Function, what the structure does, what the job of the structure is. So when you look at structure, you're looking at claw, and you're looking at the function of the claw, okay? When you look at teeth, what is the function of the teeth? When you think about wings, what is the function of wings? What does the wings do? What does the teeth do? What does the claw do? Okay? And then when you tie them both in, you have structure and functions of organisms. Now, if you look right here on the side, I have three different illustrations. And then on this side, I have three different definitions to match those illustrations. Let's dive into it. Over here, we have structure. The first illustration is pointing to hooves. Okay, now hooves can actually be found on deers. It can also be found on goats, but we'll just stick with deer for right now because this is where I have it written. Okay, I have the arrow pointing down right here to the hooves, all right? Now with hooves, we need to know what the function is. What is the job of the hooves? We know that hooves is a structure of a deer, meaning we know that hooves is part of the deer because structure is part of the animal, but we need to know what is the actual function? What does hooves do? What is its job? The function of hooves is simple. It helps animals walk and keep their balance. If deers did not have hooves, they would not be able to plant their feet into the ground. They would not be able to stand upright on all four legs and reach berries in the bush or walk around and step over logs, step over branches. Um, There's so many different things that a deer would not be able to do if it did not have its hooves, okay? So hooves, which is the function, helps animals walk and keep their balance. Now, to the next one, we have webbed feet. What animal can have webbed feet? A duck, okay? Now, the function of a duck is to uh, help aquatic animals swim and move in water. So we know that webbed feet is a structure, which is a part of the animal. Now, the actual function, the job of webbed feet is to, once again, help aquatic animals swim and move in water. If ducks did not have webbed feet, how would they be able to swim? How would they be able to wobble across the land and get into the lake so they can swim? What happens if ducks are super hot on a July afternoon and it's over 100 degrees? Well, they need to cool off also, so maybe they want to sunbathe and float around in the lake with their baby ducks. If they did not have webbed feet, they would not be able to pull out such a task. So ducks 
have web feet, that's a structure, and then a function of those web feet will help them swim and move into the water. Now, finally, our last one, we have feathers. What animal has feathers? Birds, okay? Different kind of birds. It can be a blue jay. It can be a bald eagle. It can be a hawk. It can be a vulture. So many different birds have feathers. Now, the actual function of a bird helps keep birds warm and helps them to fly. So we know the structure of a bird is feathers. Now, what does that feather do? What does those feathers do? That's the function, the job. And those feathers help keep birds warm and it also help them to fly. Now, over the weekend, we had a lot of rainy weather and Mr. Chat was very curious to think about where does birds go when it actually rains? As I conducted some research, I learned that birds, they actually fill up their wings with little bitty pockets, little air pockets, and they have to make sure they don't spread their wings too high because those little bitty air pockets will help create heat. And with that heat, it's gonna give off heat onto their feathers and their feathers are going to keep their body warm if they're in cold weather or if they're in rainy weather. Now, birds have to also be very careful because if those air pockets underneath their wings fill up with water, they could actually get hypothermia. And hypothermia means that the birds would actually freeze because they would be too cold because their body temperature will drop. So, wings, feathers, not only help birds to fly, but it also keeps them warm, okay? So right here is the anchor chart. You can pause it, you can write down your notes, and you will be able to use this for your upcoming discussion, posts, and comments, all right? That's all I have for you right now. I will see you shortly. Until then, have a good day.